So, Merry Christmas, you filthy animals. Merry, well, it was Christmas, but Merry Christmas anyway. So, just Google it. Finland is not a Slavic country, it's a Finnic country. Uh, yeah. Thank you. Uh, Finland is a Nordic country. Fallout. Finno Ugrig. Hey, Michael Janatek. Welcome to the stream. Just MLG1 Metal Canyon body pillow. Ugh. Apart from this kind of area. Oh, we got some. Uh, we got some stuff going on. As you can see, I did quite a bit already. Now, if you don't know automation, it is a car s factory simulating game that's still in development. That's why it's so slow. This is going to take a while as well, probably. <coughs> and um, it, it's it's a throwback to the old. What was it called? It was an old DOS game where you had your car company and built cars. And this is just like that, except much more complex. And because I'm a car buff, I like this sort of stuff. Let's go to the year 1967 or 1965 and do like a muscle car, a coupe or a coupe for Europeans. <coughs> Time to make some truly underpowered European clunkers. I hate that. They, <coughs> a lot of cars, the small ones nowadays, are coming with three-cylinder engines. I mean, oh my god. Why? It's so bad. It's like, you press a throttle. It's like, oh, the turbo needs to spool up. Hello, good morning, turbo. Let's go for a ladder type, because this is a muscle car. Steel. So you can see, you can you can do all these things. Panel material, chassis type, chassis material, engine placement, front suspension, rear suspension. There's so many things you can do. Uh, oh man, now you're going to make me want uh, the automation game, just like you got me with Papers, Please, and Spin Tires. Glory to Arstotzka. Yeah, if, if you're a car buff, or you, or you like simulations like this, this is going to be fun, I think. It's going to be making your own company. Right now, there's only the sandbox where you create a car and the engine. Uh, but then you're going to have the company, the factories, and so on. And you're going to actually sell the cars. It's going to be fun. Sorry, MC and chat for my crappy knowledge of geography and biology. What was the uh, biology are all about? There it got me thinking about the Citroen 2 CV. Oh, great. Two cylinders. That's even better. <laughs> but at least that was a funny little car, you know? Uh, right. Let's go for front transverse. Uh, front suspension... Is not going to be a double wishbone. It's going to be a solid axle coil because I don't know. And the rear, of course, famously American, is going to be leaf suspension, which is like old horse pulled carriages. <laughs> uh, right, we got a uh, two different. Oh, this is a. F this is not a coupe. This is a f four door. Look, see, this is a coupe. All right. Uh, so. We've got this body type. Let's see. What men have boobs? Yes, we do. Uh, boobies. Uh, can you play OTTD? Open Transport uh, Tycoon Deluxe? I do have it. It's all fun and games until smart cars and Mini Coopers become one. Fallout. Okay. Michael Janatek has been saying Fallout for a while now. I'm kind of scared. Right, let's go for a co full carbon fiber body. Look at that. Yeah from 1965 they didn't even know what that is. let's go for a full chrome body huh yeah. nah uh, let's go for a nice red let's change it up a bit why can I not modify it there's something wrong with that oh well oh well so you can also mold the car a bit whoop within reason of course let's oh god that's ugly oh god yeah this is the the s the point nose the pointy nose no that that looked better before like that all right the doors can be a bit bigger oh my god my eyes oh that's better <laughs> i look great no i don't but thank you anyway let's let's make the rear yeah, let's make it normal uh, like that so it's a real you know cut your legs off if you're sitting in the back huh? uh, like this it's fast. All right, let's paint the bumpers chrome because it's American, so it has to have a lot of chrome. Um, you know, if this car was built in Europe right now, 
I'm telling you it would be available with a three-cylinder engine. That's how ridiculous it is. Um, today, actually, while... Dr no. Yesterday, while driving around, I saw one of the new Mustangs over here. They're kind of rare, really, because people don't obviously buy them because of the fuel prices. But, if you didn't know, the Mustang over here comes with the Ford Focus ST or slash RS 2.3 engine, which is an amazing engine. Absolutely brilliant. But it doesn't fit in t it doesn't really fit a Mustang. A Mustang needs to come with a V8. That's why you buy a Mustang. There's no other reason. You don't buy it for its quality of build or or its driving characteristics. You buy it because it's got a big honking V8 that you can do burnouts with and annoy the neighbors with. Um, but that that Mustang that I saw had the 2.3 engine. Why? I I just realized I'm moving the I'm bumping into the table here. Uh, Jasmel Bureau, a brand new two and a half ton car with 75. Yep, that's how it is. Where are you going? I have a Mini too. Minis are fun. I like Minis. Sunset Sherbert, Mustang comes standard with an i4 here in the States as well. What? i4? V6 was standard for years. i6 back in the 60s. Are you serious? It comes with an i4 as standard. Uh, Europe means without cigarette lighter, only as an option. Yeah, I don't really have a problem with that. I don't smoke, and I think it's pretty disgusting. No offense to anyone that smokes. If you smoke in the car. Ugh. Selling the car. Good mileage. Low mileage. Just, just, you know, infused with smoke. Ugh. Anyway, um... Oh, cars. Men stuff. So boring. Might as well go for a smoke. <laughs> Almost every Mustang since they were made had a V6 as standard. Oh, this Mustang talk reminds me of the classic Need for Speed Most Wanted. Thanks for all the follow-up vids, bro. And yeah, cars are good too. American cars for the win. Uh, only GT above got V8. Well, you gotta buy a V8. I mean, I, I understand if there's an option. Let's put some lights on this thing. Uh, but come on. Buying a Mustang and then going for a 2.3. I mean, yes, it is a good engine. Ooh. That looks ugly. It is a good engine, um, but <sighs> just V8, man. Now, it's 1965, so what would they have? Something more like this. Oh, maybe. Oh, God, that, that, that looks like something out of Europe from that time. Maybe like this. Maybe. Uh, that looks okay-ish. Not great, but... Uh, do you watch any TV shows? Uh, I, yeah, I do. Game of Thrones, uh, I love Doctor House, I mean, Doctor House, I love House MD. Um, I watched Walking Dead, but they're getting more and more boring. It's just, you know, too much. Uh, where's the blocky stuff? Because this is 1965. I think this one is, like, bulging out. No, it's not, it's okay. There you go. Uh, but a Nissan 2.4 5-cylinder Volvo S40. Now, the previous Ford Focus SD and RS were nice with the 5-cylinder uh, inline Volvo engine. Ooh, that thing. That thing had such a nice sound. Obviously, the new 2.3 4-cylinder is more powerful, much more powerful. But that thing had such a nice sound. Oh, ooh. Mm, crisis time. All right, let's put a grill in there because it just looks weird right now. What the hell is this? Oh, I see. Okay, that's kind of cool. I can do it like this. There. And let's do this as well. Uh, should it be chrome? Yes, it should be chrome. Let's see. Is that an actual opening? Yes, it is. All right, Chrome. So then we have. We need some vents. Have you looked at Machine Key? Yes, I have. I have it on my wish list. Actually, I'm. Um, I'm kind of interested in that. Uh, it looks pretty nice, indeed. Let's make that like this. Like this, shall we? Like this and Chrome. There we go. Yeah. It doesn't look horrible, but it looks pretty bad. Uh, round headlights were U.S. law until mid to late 70s. Interesting. You seem to be pretty keen on cars. I love cars. Gas prices are obviously the reason for small and efficient motors in Europe. Would you drive a 20 liter? Yes, I would. 
if it was fun. I would. I was actually for the longest time I was actually looking at um, Pontiac GTOs, uh, which are in Australia Vauxhall VXR. No, not VXR. What were they? I can't remember. Anyway, a big honking Corvette engine, and yes, I would pay for for gas slash petrol here at these prices for a car like that because it's fun. I actually want a pickup, a big pickup truck, American pickup truck with a 6.7 liter diesel engine. Because, I don't know, you know, if it's fun, pay for it. Are fuel prices in USA pretty cheap compared to Europe? Extremely cheap. Uh, for example, fuel prices in, I don't know, on the west coast-ish are like 2 to 3 dollars a gallon. Over here, it's more like 8 to 9 dollars a gallon. So, yeah. Uh, what are we doing? Scoop, snow, lips, spoilers, wings, fuel cap. Let's put a fuel cap on there, shall we? There we go, a bit bigger. Bit here. There we go. You've seen nothing yet, though. Shotgun rack in the cab. Cummins diesel! Yes, that's what I'm talking about. A Cummins. I love those Cummins diesels. Man, they sound so cool. <laughs> Alright, let's uh, put what would be like 60 -ish, ish. What would look like 60 ish? Uh. I don't know. Maybe something like that. Possibly. I don't know. Either way. I love the sound from i6 engines. Yeah, i6 engines. BMWs have such wonderful i6 engines. I've been hearing about a game called Escape from Tarkov. Anyone have an idea about it? Yeah, that's like a bit like Stalker, isn't it? Holden Commodore. Uh, Jordan, yes. In my opinion, there's a reason there are barely hatchbacks there and so many V6 V8s. Fiat Multipla. Free Astad, by the way, welcome to the stream, if I haven't said so yet. Another veteran and Fiat Multiply, yes. Most beautiful car in the world. Go Google it right now if you haven't. Oh, dear. Uh, we're going to have no aerial bumper bar. We already have. Okay, badge. What's our badge going to be? As much as I hate to leave, I have to re uh, head out MMC. I got work today, sadly. Glad to see you streaming again. I hope to catch it again sometime. Thank you very much for joining, Prune UV. Laters. Uh, Chevy Duramax, I gotta go for a tiny bit, but I'll be back in about 20 minutes. Okay, nothing like rolling coal down a road doing like 80, M uh, 80 mph in a Turbo Cummins pickup. I don't really like coal rolling. Um, I think it's silly wasting so much fuel on an inefficiently, you know, set up <laughs> engine. But hey, to each their own if they don't bother other people. I just want a nice, you know, uh, I6 Cummins diesel. Uh, we're gonna, this is gonna be what? A stag. Where did I see a stag? Where is it? Oh, there it is. Sort of. Yeah. There's the badge. Yeah, look at that. 300 PS are fun, no matter if they come from V8 or supercharged four-cylinder. No? Yeah, that's true. But here's the thing. I don't really, I don't really drive cars so much for, the, oh, where did that go? I don't drive cars so much for their, um speed as I do for the just general feel you know so I, I like driving a big pickup truck with a monster engine I don't necessarily want to go fast in it I just want to drive that or I don't know if I'm driving something small I can do some corners that's fun as well but eh, especially because there are so many bloody cameras here and everything can you draw? If so, traditional or digital? I cannot draw dra Dark Dragon 548. Not at all. Tell uh, that to everyone who lives in my area. <laughs> America needs to become energy independent. Then our gas prices won't be di dictated by OPEC. Uh, Mazda Miata MX-5 naturally aspirated is fun. It, that is a sweet, sweet car. The MX-5 is amazing. Um, you have to get it with a manual transmission. Click, click. It's it's actually, I believe there's barely any linkages or any at all. It's almost directly connected to the transmission, and it's just amazing how how much fun driving and um, shifting that car is. It's just brilliant, and it's just a cool little you know car. All right, miscellaneous fixtures, wheels. Let's let's give him some old timey wheels. Uh, not really old timey, but sort of. Yep, 
8.47R3YU, what a nice name, 8 gallons in Germany. I, I mean 8 uh, USD in a gallon, pretty much. We get booby heads? <laughs> no. The turbo or supercharged? That is the question. There's no supercharging in the game yet. So this is going to be a um, V8. We can do a V12 as well if we want it. But it's going to be a V8. Um, it's going to be cast iron. Let's see. How many liters shall we do this? Like six? Six liter? Uh, let's go. Let's go. Almost seven liter. Let's go seven liter. Yeah, look at that. Seven liter. It is the US. They don't care. Now, considering this is 65, let's do just a single overhead cam. Two valve. Um, I think. <coughs> when I first tried it, driving gas was 98 cents a gallon. That is just ridiculous. What do you think of the RS McGann? Uh, the RS McGann is loads of fun. Loads of fun, but not for every day. I would not buy it if that was the only car I had. If I had a lot of money and that could be a weekend car, yes. But otherwise, it's just all the time. All the time, you're like, I have to press the throttle. I have to press the throttle. And you're always tense, always like, where can I overtake this guy or that guy? No, that's just me anyway. But it's also way too hard. Especially with those uh, bucket seats. Oh my god, getting out of those. Okay, cast crank, cast con, con rods, cast pistons. We're probably going to have problems with torque, but we'll go get to that later. I'm going to ignore the compression and cam pro profile and everything else right now. We cannot turbocharge, of course, because it's 1965. Uh, it's a production car. We're going to have a two-barrel twin carburetor standard intake. There we go. You can change all of that. A regular leaded, because of course it's 65, so it's still leaded fuel. And a cast log. This is a, you know, production car. Uh, dual exhausts. Reverse flow on the mufflers. Alright, now we have to actually set the uh, engine up. Let's see what else is there in the meantime. The only car metal we'll ever need as long as he will live will be the Fiat 126 Malik. <laughs> ring, ring. <laughs> I knew that. I meant, which do you prefer? Oh, absolutely turbocharging. Um, it's just way more power. Um, because with a with a super supercharger, it is dependent on the RPM. I mean, with a super uh, with a turbocharger, obviously there's lag at the uh, beginning, unless you have a twin scroll or you know variable supercharger. But with a supercharger, you've got less supercharging, less more, 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 and you only get to Maximum supercharging when you're at red line. I don't know. I just prefer turbochargers um, Metal are you relocating to America? That's something to sleep dark dragon. Uh, thank you so much for joining the stream. Good night and goodbye um, 7 liter and 18 kilowatts about right for an American <laughs> engine in 65 well right now It's knocking so if we if we started for example Bleh. Yeah, that doesn't work. So we have to lower the compression. Compression is way too high. There we go, 176 kilowatts. 490 newton meters of torque. That's that's almost as much as a 2-liter Volkswagen Passat uh, does today. <laughs> All right, let's uh, alter the cam profile. Do we want more power? Uh, less torque, but more power. Yeah, let's, let's do that. We want sensible. Uh, All right, fuel mixture. We don't care about fuel consumption, so as much as possible. Ignition timing, let's put it way up. There we go. And also the RPMs need to come down because uh, 5,000 is our... There we go. 5,000 is the maximum RPM before other stuff starts falling apart. Also, increase the exhaust diameter. There we go. 207 kilowatts. That's okay. 7 liter. The headers are really the problem right now, but... We're in Porsche's 930. 30 with turbo producing 70s. Uh, I believe they were. Alright, so let's check this out. Nice. Been nice. 
So what happens if we take all of the mufflers? Hmm. Wake up the neighbors. 